Okay, so hi there, Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Welcome to your October 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. Before we begin, please do note that this is a general reading which may or may not tune in for each and every one of you guys out there. So just a reminder, this is going to be applicable whether you have your sun, moon, or ascendant in the sign of Aries. So um, yeah, without any further ado, just let's just, you know, dive in to see what's going to, you know, occur, what might be manifesting for you guys for the month of October 2020. So um, your first card of the deck, we do have here the Justice card. So the Justice is all about balance and it's all about talking about the relationship in the place of commitment or um, it could be something very serious. It could be something that you need to correct it could have a lot to do with legality issues all at the same time. It could be, you know, a relationship that needs to be, um, needs to come together um, to do things the right way. So it could be that this is something in your mind. You might be thinking about a relationship that you need to get serious on. We do have here, you know, it's very interesting that it is covered by fives, you know. We have the first card here with the Justice card, and here we do have the Five of Swords, which is all about, you know, regrets, things that you have done in the past, maybe things that, you know, makes, that reminds you of something that maybe you have hurt someone or someone has hurt you, all of those kinds of things, you know. Um, the Five of Swords has a lot to do with negative feelings that we have. It's not really a heartbreaking energy, but it has a lot to do with, you know, bitterness, I would say. Bitterness would probably be the right term to use. And over here, what we have is the Five of Cups. This is, you know... The energy we're in you're really really sad about something so this could be a situation or a relationship that you could be recalling or you could be you know wanting to I don't know for some of you it could be a situation wherein you might be thinking about a relationship that supposed to happen but did not really happen that kind of thing because you know the justice card and the five of swords is all together it makes me feel that you know some form of injustice was um occurred in a relationship you know something is not right is what i'm picking up over here and it could be that you are regretting it or you could be missing someone you know these kinds of energies might be playing out for you especially since you know astrology wise there's going to be a lot of aspects happening in mars retrograde so i feel that you know personally there could be something that you guys might be experiencing within the month of october um don't get me wrong october is actually pretty much of a good month it's just that you know it can play around with our own feelings you know and it's like the practicalities of life versus our own emotions is going to be dabbling for the month of October so it's going to be interesting how that will actually play out so the next card that we have over here is the knight of swords so the knight of swords is like you know a form of taking action it is a form wherein you, maybe a message could come up it could be this could be you um, making some form of connections communicating with so, with someone this can also be you know because um the knight of source is actually you know it's like a lightning you know when it acts it it acts with some form of precision you know maybe you're gonna be impulsive you're going to be acting something sending someone a message in a blink of an eye you know it's not something that you personally plan it's, it's something that just happens and it's and another interesting part here, it's beside with these king, uh, no, 
no, this is not the king. This is the six of wands. And the six of wands has a lot to do with some form of victory. And, you know, the white flag that we see over here, it reminds me that energy we're in, you know, you send a white flag to someone. So we have here a message and it could be a message of peace, a message of harmony or a message of trying to make peace with someone is highly possible for you. Maybe you wanted to correct something that you have done in the past and trying to harmonize in that relationship. It could be something that you are acting in the month of October or something that you are thinking that you might want to do. And we have over here the Queen of Cups. So I kind of feel that for a lot of Aries, you know, someone has your heart. You know, you are really thinking about them. They could be someone very important to you. They could be, you know, a person like the perfect woman for you or the perfect man. They are very much understanding and, you know, very just when it comes to you. You could be their favorite person all at the same time. This could be a situation wherein you're somehow a bit more hopeful with your relationship or with the potential of making a connection with this person, whoever this person is for you personally. So again, we have here the Five of Cups. It could be a situation wherein you are, you know, this could be a situation if you think about it in a very logical way wherein you cannot move forward. You end up going back to the past. You end up trying to re configuring or reconfiguring things that you have done in the past. What happened? What What is the wrong thing that has occurred and what needs to be corrected? I kind of feel that, you know, this, this energy of wanting to fix things, wanting to reanalyze, to wanting to analyze a situation um, is becoming more stronger. And yes, we already have felt this energy during the month of September, but it's going to become more strong to a point wherein we might actually take action for the month of October. And we have here the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands has an energy of creating new beginning. It's like, you know, it's like when a person has lost all of the hope that they have, they are now at a point where in a spark of an idea, some form of energy comes to you and you become much more revitalized more than ever. It has that form of energy. So if you were in a situation in the past wherein you have lost interest, this could be a situation wherein something inside of you is being reignited. So if you have a, a lover before or you are in a relationship wherein you don't want that person anymore, this could be a situation wherein you might find that you want to have that person again. Something inside of you, some form of passion inside of you is being reignited ignited and the next card that we have over here is the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles is another um, communication card this is another card wherein um, we try to work things out this is the card of a teamwork basically you know we need to make an effort into something we need to work hard into something so so this could be a situation wherein we might hear from someone again me or maybe whoever this person is whether this is you or this this is the other person um they make an effort to to communicate to talk to you to work things out um those kinds of things and we also have here the the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles is quite interesting in its own way this is the energy we're in it could be a relationship that is not perfect but it becomes perfect due to its own imperfection it's like you know through thick and thin you know even though there are many 
reason to why you should not be with someone. You always find a reason to be with someone. And that can be very idealistic and it could be very cliche-like. But sometimes that is what leads to true love. So this could be a situation where in you might have been hurt you you might have hurt someone or you might have been hurt by that person but for some reason um you try to mend things you try to work things out you know i do believe that some form of fear can get the better of you and this is just going to you know this is going to be like something is some form of divine intervention could be occurring that pushes you to take action because your heart is telling you to take action so you know it's this is not about you know maybe you are in a situation wherein you are always trying to to handle the relationship or to handle the situation that you are in in a very logical and practical mindset and this month you might come to realize that what you truly feel is going to be much more important and even though you feel that it's not realistic and all of that you will come to a situation wherein you you will still follow what you truly feel and we do have here the last card with the star card and you know um queen of cups and the star card this is you know it's like this person is someone that really inspires you. This is someone that you really, really want. So whoever this is, this is someone that really gives everything to you. You you feel complete. So your emotions are being triggered again by this person, whoever they are. It could be a very spiritual person as well, you know, or a very psychic person. We, if we, if we read this in a, in like a Lenormand setup, if you seeing a lady in a, a a star card, you know, someone that um very inspiring to you, very important to you, an important woman, that kind of energy. Also. We have here um, the sun, the second house, and the sign of Virgo. And this is actually, you know, talking about when we talk about the second house, this is all about possessions. And while a, a lot of people would say that this, is, has, this will have a lot to do with material possessions, in most cases, this is what we desire, what we really, really want. The second house is actually... Um, being ruled by Venus um, in a general perspective and you know this will always have a lot to do with your own feelings and your own desires and with Virgo which is all about you know hard work working hard over something and you know if you have a goal in mind you will want to make an effort to attain that goal this is a situation wherein you might act upon what you really really want to be what you really really want to have basically in your life so because we do have a lot of communication cards over here and taking action i do feel that this is not going to be a month of stagnancy we might actually see some form of movement and happenings and because of a lot of you know past energies we have here there is also a possibility that um, you might um, work around with things that you already have maybe in the present or in the past I do feel that you know this can have a lot to do with the past this is not some some form of new energy that's going to come in especially it, that in astrology we do have a lot of retrogrades occurring so um, yeah um, I did pull in some few cards over here. Let's put this aside for now. Just a few cards for Lenormand to give us some form of insight. And this is more of a confirmation, actually. This is not a new, a new, a new perspective on the reading for the month, but it's like a confirmation on what we can actually get. 
um, for the month of October. And we do have here the garden, which is all about connections, the people we meet or the people we have already you know, the acquaintance and our connections. And then we have here the letter card. We might, you know, receive some form of message or we might message someone on social media. Who knows? And another card here at the middle is, you know, the birds card, which is, you know, a big card for communication, you know, talking to each other. And the we have here the crossroad here. So it's like making a major decision. Um, making a decision to communicate maybe this is uh could be you know on other cases this could be um, a decision to separate and all of that there is something that you have to do so I don't really see this as a card of separation for for this but this is like a making a decision to to talk to someone, making a decision to communicate, sending them a note of some kind, all of those kinds of things. And it could be with someone which you had problems with, you know, um, someone that you you had a fight with I, I would say there's that's a possibility, especially since you know and when it comes to mirroring, with Lenormand, we have the garden and the whip. So we could be a, a, an acquaintance or a person that you once knew, which you guys don't have any good relationship at the present moment. Also, if we take a look with Crossroads and the whip card over here, it could be a decision that you need to, to act upon, you know, because... It, it, it could be a, a, a crossword or a decision that you once already took before, but you need to you need to take action and do them again, redo something, could be, or maybe talking to someone again. It could be that form of energy. So, um, yeah, we do have a lot of stuff over here. And for some of you guys, you know, this could be a form of, some form of emotional energy could be creeping up on you and you might you might feel that this is a major test or this is a time to overcome something overcoming a situation i just kind of feel that you know the actions that you are going to take during this time is going to be very quick and precise and you you won't really plan it you know maybe you're not thinking if talking to them at all you maybe you don't want to talk to them at all but some form of a scenario one way or another will lead you to take action will, will lead some form of message or some form of connection between you and your special person and i kind of feel that this could be a very intuitive approach that eventually will create some form of positive movement that allows you to move forward with your life. Now, I'm just going to show you guys a quick look on the astrology for the month of October. I actually have here some form of list. Um, I did not include all of the aspects that's going to be occurring for the month of October, so, but these are the major things. And if you guys will notice, we do have here a lot of Venus aspect, a lot of Mars aspect as well. But the the biggest thing we should notice here is that we have the opposition with Uranus, Mars retrograde opposite um Uranus. We do have a lot of their Uranus, um, Neptune for the month of October. Actually, we do have the big planets. You know, it's not it's not just um, Venus, Mercury, and all of that. You know, it's like every planet are exchanging um, something right now. They are sharing information. Some form of action is being triggered, especially when you see Mercury 
opposite Uranus and then also Mars opposite Uranus, you are going to be having that guaranteed action that some form of insight and some form of event can actually transpire. Not to mention that you guys are in the sign of Aries, so full moon in the sign of Aries will happen on the 1st of October. And then we also have the new moon at the middle of the month in the sign of Libra. So there's definitely going to be some form of event some form of realization and some form of action that's going to be playing out in terms of your love life as a whole so um, even though in this time and age you might say that practicality is going to be the most important thing um, i would say that for the month of october a lot of your you know it's like for the first time in a in a long time your your feelings, your emotions might just go in line with your own um, logic, I would say. And that might just harmonize things and bring everything together and give you an answer which you are already seeking. You have been seeking for the longest time. And I would say that that is just a beautiful thing. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities that might actually occur this month. So I'm very interested how this might play out. Um, so, um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys. If you do find this reading helpful, it will be really um, appreciated if you could like, share, comment, or subscribe to my channel and to this video. And just to support the channel, um, for more videos like this one if you do want a personal reading or something more detailed and in-depth you can do so by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by crazy.com and with that i end this video and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye